Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Wu Hu and today I've got for you a 1980 Belgian 20 francs coin. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. This is a portrait of King Baudouin I, King of Belgium from 1951 to 1993. Uh, we see down here the designer's name, or the engraver's name, I should say, Elstrom, as in Harry Elstrom, who engraved this coin. And we see on either side here, we see uh, the mint mark and the privy mark. Uh, the mint mark is indicative of uh, Brussels, Belgium, which has been minting uh, Belgian coins since 983. It's the head of the Archangel Michael. And the privy mark uh, from 1963 to 1987 is that of a blackbird. So that's what we see on the obverse of this coin. If we flip this over to the other side, it is coin aligned, as you can see. Belgique, uh, the French uh, spelling of Belgium, 20 francs, the denomination, 1980, the date very tiny down below, and right here we see an olive branch. Now, this coin also comes in varieties that show the Dutch spelling of Belgium, which is Belgi, but otherwise this coin is exactly the same. Uh, this is a nickel brass coin. It weighs 8.5 grams. It's 25.65 millimeters in diameter, 2.27 millimeters thick, with a smooth edge with an edge inscription of, well, some description. You can see some geometric shapes uh, around the entire rim of the coin. Uh, these coins were produced from 1980 to 1982. Then there was a break in production. Uh, they were produced in sets only from 1989 to 1991 before being minted again for circulation in 1992 and 1993. Now, 1980 being the first year of production has a mintage of 60 million. It is one of it is one of the more common dates of this particular coin. As far as the value is concerned, you're not going to get more than 50 cents uh, to a dollar for average circulated condition. This one's a little bit nicer, so you might get a dollar out of this if you're lucky. However, notice I said a little while ago that this coin was coin aligned, as you can see here. So if I turn it on this axis, it turns right side up. There are included in that 60 million mintage uh, some examples that are metal aligned. So if I turn it like this, the example would be right side up. Those are the examples that you want to find because in low mint state grades, that could be worth about $7 up to about $30 in higher mint state grades. So when you get a coin like this, turn it on its axis like this. If you've got a metal aligned coin, in other words, if the king's portrait is right side up when I do this, then you've got yourself a heck of a find. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information about this coin. I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.